Welcome to another tutorial about how to create a resultant. As already discussed in the previous video, the second solution is about the analytical method. The wind suction F1 on the roof can be divided into the horizontal component F1H and the vertical component F1V. The drawing shows the 45 degree roof slope. The force F1 is perpendicular to the roof. For this reason, the force also has an inclination of 45 degrees. The product of F1 and the sine of 45 degrees results in the vertical force. F1H is equal to F1 times the cosine of 45 degrees. The force F2 is entirely horizontal with a vertical component equal to zero. When we have all the forces in the system vertical and horizontal, we can proceed with the sum of all vertical and horizontal loads. If we define the positive direction upwards, the RV, resultant vertical, value is 0.71 kN. For the RH, resultant horizontal, the positive direction points to the right and we use F1H and F2. The result is 1.71 kN. After we have calculated the sum of the vertical and horizontal forces, we draw them below and look at the resulting geometry. RV is oriented upwards and RH to the right because both values are positive. The drawing shows this as a right angled triangle. For this reason, the resultant is determined using the Pythagorean theorem. The resultant is the hypotenuse of the triangle which is equal to the square root of RV squared plus RH squared. This is calculated as 1.85 kN similar to the graphical method. The resultant angle from the horizontal is determined from the arctangent of the opposite side length divided by the adjacent side length. This is calculated as 22.5 degrees. This video showed how to create the resultant with the analytical method. In the next video, we will check both methods with the same example in RFEM.